All right, what's up, you people? This is going to be my review of uh, the new skill album. I never really made like a review of this, of like any skill at all. The only, the only other like kind of like new album that came out when I was like a fan was Victorious, which that was a pretty good album. But I just, I think this album just, I don't know. I've listened to. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you all the skill albums I've listened to. Oh, okay, that's a lot of skill albums. I've listened to. Wait, I gotta, I gotta see all the albums first. So, you know, I've listened to Dominion. That's one album. I've listened to Victorious. That's another album, too. I've listened to Unleash 3, I've listened to Awake 4, I've listened to Comatose 5, I've listened to, um, wait, did I say Awake? I think I did, yeah. I've listened to Ride, wait, Victorious, um, Dominion, Victorious, Comatose, Awake, Rise. Victorious, Unleash, Rise, Awake, Comatose, that's six album. Um, oh my gosh, this career is so slow. I listen to some, listen to most Colossus, so that's kind of like 6.5, 6.8. Some of this one too, that makes seven albums. Um, definitely listen to Skillet. Um, Ancient Warship, that's eight albums. Invincible, nine. That one, Hey, I Love Your Soul, I'm starting to listen to that album. I'm going to probably say 9.2, 9.3. You know, we're going to actually do 9.5 to 10 because I'm going to do like most of like the skill album. I'm going to listen to a song somewhat, and, like all the skill albums. This review is on a, the newest album, the Dominion album, which. Okay, this is like really loud. You are the first song on the album, Surround the Game, that came out like. This album, I mean, not this album. You know, the song came out in September. That song has been out for a long time. Saint of Storm came out after that. Then Rap Fusion and Dominion. Dominion was like the last last single of Dominion. Still in Dominion. Like, it was like a few days ago. There was this guy that's named Brian Delivery Good. I think I was talking about that. And like, I, I gotta turn like the comments on the, um, my value of death preview. I gotta put my comments on that. Like, I don't know why he's just ringing turn off, but let's do that right now. Right, I'm not gonna get rid of my shot with you, though. Yeah, it's... I'm gonna tell you all my favorite, like, my favorite verse. Okay, before before this album came out, when, like, all, like, the four songs were out, Stan, it was, like, it was between Sand and Storm and Dominion. That was my favorite. I like the Sand and Storm the most before when the album came out. And then when that album came out, I got a different favorite. It was Shot Your Freedom, which I really love that song. I love the whole album. It's like the albums like change like genres. Like you just like carefully listen to it again. Survive again. It's freaking like metal in my opinion. Dominion, that's like pure metal. It's in a storm that's like metal. Refuge. Uh I don't know. Rock. And then just after that, like, Shot Your Freedom, that's like up, like, upbeat rock. If you, if you know what that, what the heck would I mean by that. Upbeat rock's like rock music, but just upbeat it. <laughs> yeah, I think you already know that. Yeah, I don't like upbeat rock. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, I love upbeat rock. Why would I not? Why would I? Oh, whoa. Okay, it's a lot better. Okay, why would I not be listening to? Why would I? Okay, first of all, why would I be listening to it if I don't like it? I do love it. Okay. 
it's not like Brian delivers you good. I was actually serious about it, you know. He said the album went bad just because of one song. It's that's not how it works, you know. Like he he did like ten. He did something out of ten. I probably get this probably like one hundred out of ten. <laughs> like seriously, Big Taurus is probably would be like. I think Big Taurus are probably do. 85 out of 10. 85 out of 10. But Dominion. Oh, oh, sorry, you all. Dominion, that album is freaking amazing. Like, this was the scale of an I expect it was be as good as this. Okay, I know it was going to be a good album, but. Okay, I knew it was going to be a good album, but not as good as it is. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But, like, I did thought the Minion was going to be a good album because I listened to Survive. I listened to, like, when I first listened to Survive, I'm like, I think this album is going to be good. But it's going to be better than Victoria's. I don't know. I think Victoria's would have been better. <laughs> so, you know, the album came out and I listened to the full thing and I was shocked. Like, Dominion. The song Dominion, I actually, that's the first song that actually sh made me very shocked. Because I was like, what is this solo? What is this? No. White Horse, that was another song that shocked me in this album. It's like, White Horse is like, maybe John was kind of right about it. We were like, what is this? You know, all that's in the same questions, you know. I just listened to White Horse for like a while to make myself like, used to it. Because I'm, cause I'm not used to that with skillet music. Like, I'm not used to that, like, that rapping and skilling, that talking, whatever what it was. But I'm not I was I'm not really used to that. But I really love the song though. It's not like it's not like that they did something new, it's like really bad. No, no 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 no. It's really good. Really good, you know. You know. I love Dominion. Shh, really my favorite album now, you know. Victoria, like, when I became a fan, the first time I was listening was later Anchor from the album Victorious. You know. I really don't know if the Refuge is, like, my favorite song because of Stan, this is Stan and Storm, but. But I love Refuge. It's a really good song. Like, the song in the album that made me cry was freaking. Yeah, I'm listening to, like, the album right now, if y'all. Can't hear the music. Well, it makes sense because like an album review, but you know, like the let me see. You know what the craziest thing is about it? This was like the most shocking skill album. Like it's so freaking amazing. Can't wait for another. If they when they get like another album, or if they do, yeah, I think they will. Don't worry, it's not the last album. They say, oh, it's my last album. I'll be almost as old, or I will be a woman. I hope I'm gonna be a woman when the next album is out. That I could like see when they start live in it or anything. I can't do that with Dominion because I don't know. I'm not a grown up yet. I'll be in like a few years. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm kind of scared to be a grown up. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared and excited at the same time. You know. Yeah, hey, we're gonna start getting some crazy lights. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. This light thing does that too. It's so freaking cool. It starts to get crazy and then just boo, boo, boo. I want to see what the other songs do with that, but but anyway, it's it's freaking cool though. The album is awesome. The album is amazing. Everything about it's amazing. You know. Surround the game did not really sh well, it kind of did shock me, but not really, not like the other skillet song. The whole album was shocking, like I said. There is never a skillet album that's so upbeated like that. Like, this album was so upbeated. Like, White Horse was upbeat, like a way. Um, even Stay in the Storm is upbeat, in, like a way. It's crazy. Surround the game is just like metal. Stay in the Storm is kind of upbeat, in, like a way, and metal. Dominion is amazing. Um, what's the other song? Beyond Incredible. That is freaking amazing and a beat it. Like seriously, I think the song. What's the song after that? Huh? 
Sorry, I had to go on Spotify, my thing. Song after that. Oh, song that I freaking cry on Valley of Death. When Valley of Death comes on, I'm gonna talk about that song for like probably like longer than freaking five minutes. Like, I did make a me talking about Valley of Death, but I have more about that song. You know. So I'm gonna skip Valley of Death. Wait, I met. Yeah, I miss. I mixed it around. The fourth song is Valley of Death, not the fifth one. The fifth one's beyond incredible. I got told it. Destiny. No, nah, that's now. That's, that's like a metal upbeat. Is this? Is this like a metal upbeat song? That's what Destiny is. You know, I love the lyrics. Refuge. You know what? You know what I'm saying about Refuge. Destroyer. Oh my gosh, it's an upbeat and song. Oh my god, forever or the end. That is not an upbeat song. That is a very good like it's like a very good slow song. It has like um Jen knows how to freaking sing in that song. She sings like I don't even know. Man, I don't even know anymore, you know. Oh. Yeah, I do not know why this girl's not like up, but okay. Sorry about that, but anyway. No, I'm just so freaking excited. I was so excited for this album. And guess what? Maybe this album was pretty shocking and very upbeat. But did I just skip to my favorite one? The eighth song is my favorite one, Shot Your Freedom. That is a good one. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's an awesome one. You know. Here we go, The Minions coming up next. Another good one. The Minion is an awesome song. Dominion is kind of like upbeat too, in my opinion. But it's more like metal. It's more like it's in a metal thing. You know. No, I am in love with this song. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's gonna stay in. It's gonna stay in like 100% amazing. More than that. This album's over 100. In my opinion, I really love this album. Or no, those people that don't like the album. There's this. There, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking mention that this guy again. Well, this guy is named Brian Delivery You Good. It's like his like YouTube channel. I don't know. When he's like, oh, this could be the last kill ever. This is actually the first one I reviewed. But if they if they make like another album or when they do, I'm gonna review that one. I'm gonna start reviewing. I might be able to do, like reactions. You know. Like when Ledger gets new songs, I start doing reactions with her. You know, I love Ledger's by the way. I don't just like skill it. I like fight the theory too, which fight I don't know. Fight the theory is like dead or something. They don't like make anything anymore. It's like my fifth. Oh my gosh. Well, I just hit my Fitbit wallpaper. If you all can't see that, because this Fitbit keeps on like turn off and oh my god. Yeah, I just got like a new fit. Oh, I got this Fitbit for Christmas, but wallpaper's supposed to be Jen and Corey, like the. Okay, this it was this picture that they pulled like yesterday. It's Jen, uh, yeah. But anyway, I don't want to explain that. <laughs> and that part of the Dominion album. What kind of yeah it is? The Dominion CD, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's like part of the album because it is a CD though. Yeah. I don't got me all the stuff, so that stuff's coming like next weekend. I don't want to wait that long. It's too long. I waited way too long for that. She got me that for Christmas. I've been waiting forever. It's been months. <laughs> Yeah, it's been months. It's been actually a month though. But still, okay, this is like, like this. This is like the skill I've been waiting like the longest. The skill I've been waiting probably for like almost like a half a year. It's crazy. Yeah. Now I'm almost. Now this album's out. Now I've almost been a fan for three years. And... This album is freaking cool. I'm sorry. This album is too cool. I cannot stop saying that because it's cooler than I expected it was gonna be. All right, no music. Oh, this is like the messed up version of the minion. That's weird. But anyway. Hold up. I'm gonna. That is a messed up version of the minion. I'm gonna skip that. I don't like messed up versions. Okay, this is a song I was. Okay, I'm gonna restart the song over and over so I can stop it. Okay, this is a song I was talking about this, like early. I was talking quiet because it was like the morn. I was kind of tired. But you know, this. I really like this song. It's like the first time I listened to this song. 
I don't know. It's like I like felt like something inside me. I felt like I w I had like chills when I listened to the song the first time. I wasn't like crying bad, but I knew I was gonna cry because I was just crying a little bit in this song. You know. I never had a skill song that made me cry like that. Like, it's like the words. It's like what the song's talking about. The song is like. No, it's not about my future, about my life. It's how my life's like now. That's what I feel like. I don't know. No, there are very touchy songs in this album. Like this song, for example. It's Forever or the End. That's another one. It's like when I'm like singing it, it, it just gets the chills, man. I never get a chills with singing a skill song. I'm just sitting out here just listening to it. I don't get the chills. I don't get anything. Oh. I don't get anything like that, but these, this album has songs like that. <laughs> and I cannot wait to know all the lyrics of the song, which I probably will very soon. Just to make a cover of it. I really want to make cover my favorite one, like I said. You know. It's true, everybody has good times. Wondering how much time I Cause I'm not ready yet Now that I walk through the valley of death There's life in my breath There's life in my sea There's life in the I did mess up because I, I don't have the lyrics in front of me. But that's, that's how I know. It's just parts I just know about not having the lyrics in front of me. I'm starting to know the song. It sounds like I am starting to know the song. <laughs> I know. I had a good day at school. I had a special lunch today at school. It was pretty good fun, you know. My principal makes the best mac and cheese ever. It's crazy. She literally does. I walk through the valley of death There's light in me When I'm lost and can't see Coming on without a strength I can Don't forget me When I'm blind I don't believe Now that I walk through the valley of death the light to guide me where I'm lost and can't see. Coming on with the strength I can. So don't forget me, cause sometimes I won't believe that I am not alone. That I His singing gives me the chill. I'm just singing. I'm just feeling chills in me right now. Oh no, you might hear me come and mumbling just a little bit because I'm still learning the lyrics. I'm doing a pretty good job just at just beginning. <laughs> that was a pretty good start in my opinion, you know. Should I really sing in this song? Darkness falling by. Stars lines betrayed us. And the dreams of dream us. Now that is a true front. And the dream dreams escape us. You know. That's saying like you're following your dreams and you know, that's my opinion though. It means that um Cause some of my dreams did come true, but I don't feel like any other dreams coming true. That's what I that's what it means in my opinion. That, that the dreams has escaped us. You know, all the dreams that you're following, all the dreams that you love. It just ran away from you. <laughs> you can't follow anymore. You can, but it's hard to get back there. 
it's like almost like every single lyric of this song just touches me, and I know why. There are some videos I do say I have enemies because I do. I don't want to talk about it here. I talk about war tomorrow at my mom's house, and that's when the part two of the review of Valley of Death. You know, the song always get. The song's always gonna freaking touch me, and it's just going to. Laughter turn to tears, and love and laughter turn into tears. Come on now. Oh, there's a fair sorrow. That's always my question. How's my day gonna be like? Oh, my mind. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? If I could just randomly get like a bad day, I wouldn't know about it. You know. I get bad days all the time. Okay, I get bad days all the time. It ain't my fault. I'm yeah. He's the saying he's not ready to die. I'm not ready to die either. Okay, okay, okay. It's sad to go through this valley of death, but I just I guess everybody has to do it. That's what I feel like I'm going through right now. In my opinion, it's like my opinion when you start going through it's like when you're getting older. And when, when your life's starting to get harder, that's that's when I think when you start actually when you start going in the valley of death, <laughs> like when you start going walking in the valley of death. That's just well, my opinion. Well, Gillette knows more because they're the one that made the song. You know, you know I could probably be hundred percent right. You know, I could be like very erected, like. With like Skilla songs, like when I put in my own meaning, it could be like so close to like the correct answer, or it could be correct answer like a different one. Which, you know, that's what I think. It's like when you get older, or when your life starts to get harder. That's when I think when you're actually start actually walking through the valley of death. You know, that's what I think it what it means, and that's what I think what it is. You know. I know what the valley of death is. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I'm gonna be. Oh, yeah. The valley of death is you walk in a world and then, like, oh, yeah, have fun. No, but it's not. This is not the valley. That's not what the valley of death is, you know? It means it's when your life gets extremely, extremely hard. You don't even know if you can go through it or not. You just don't know if you're gonna go through it or not. And it's when you get older, too. Because your life is going boop, boop, boop. You don't even know how long you're gonna live. You know? You don't know. And he's saying he can't like wonder how much time he, he has left for his life. And he says, because I'm not ready yet. Whatever he says about because I'm not ready yet. Yeah, that. No one's ready to die. No one's ready for that. I'm not ready for it. And I'm not ready to be in the valley. Even though I'm already in the valley of death, okay. Okay, my life already started got hard when I went to foster care. I was pretty young. But no, I've been in it. I've, I'm already in it, okay. I think a lot of people are. But, you know, I could be wrong about this song, you know. I could be 100% wrong with this song. But at least I'm not like, oh, this song is this or that. Because I watch, like... There's this, okay, there's like these skill exposes that really put their song like a bad, bad meaning way. Like, they don't actually try to like guess what they mean and actually bring their own meaning and it actually can sound very correct. Like me. Like, I did value that. This song's very correct in my opinion. Like, what the lyrics is, you know. You know, I was beginning skill if I was bad at that stuff. You know. You know, I think I'm a lot better at putting skill at me, like, having my own thoughts of like a meaning of like a skillet song than I used to, you know. I remember talking about anchoring my own meaning like a long time ago. You know, it's very different kind of, not exactly, but it's different though. You know, but that means of like a lot of song, not just Valley of Death, but you all know I really like this song, and I'm. I don't know if it's even cold in my room or not, but, you know, I have, like, a really big scratch on my thing. I don't know if I still have it up. I have, like, a very big scratch from, like, the freaking chair up. It's over here. I think. 
I don't know where the heck where it's at. Where's that? It's in the hills. No, it's really, really hot. Like, my skin is not. I think I'm getting, like, the chills from this song. Yeah, this song's really giving me the freaking chills. Yeah, I'm supposed to get disgusting dinner today. I think I'm not gonna eat that much of dinner because of the freaking lunch I ate today. I ate so much stuff for lunch, and I ate um a big freaking piece of cake. It was so big, you know. Like okay, they had like the little like boxing. Okay, it was not really little. It was like a big huge piece of cake. It was like freaking like like a piles of freaking cake. It was like a slice of cake, but it was like a very big slice. Probably the biggest slice I've ever had in my life. Okay, I don't know about that, but one of the biggest slices I ever had in my life is that piece of cake I ate. It was crazy. Freaking big slice, like, like, what the heck, man? Let me go get the slice. Like, that's just how the cake was like. And I right after. Like, oh, you should get some, you should, you should leave, you should save your stomach for dessert. And I literally ate the cake. Now I'm like, no. I was rocking out while I was eating too. You're not really supposed to do that while you're eating. You're not supposed to like move your body like that. I was come on now. I was listening to the new album. I'm just, you're not gonna just expect me to listen to a skill album and be like this. Ballet of death, whatever, whatever. No, this album is upbeat. Like this album got me crazy. You know, I could do a rock out session of just literally like, most of this album. Literally. Almost every single song in this album I could literally like, do. You know? Like, I'm thinking about doing like one tomorrow, like a rock out session of literally just, just the minion. Just the same album because I'm excited, man. This is probably only like 45 minutes, almost like an hour. It's actually longer, looks like a little bit because it's only just, like a few seconds longer. Because the Dominion, this one is the wrong version of Dominion. So I have to go to Dominion single to get the freaking Dominion. <laughs> Dominion. <laughs> oh, that's so, so freaking funny. So funny. Alright, I'm gonna stop listening to this song. Because I'm not quite done. Oh yeah, I'm not done talking about the song. But yeah, it's like kind of like almost... The um, Valley of Death. I think my dad's in the Valley of Death right now, too. I would love for him to listen to this song. This song is freaking nice and cool. Yo. This song is freaking true. It's a freaking truth. Imagine me say, oh, you make your life hard. That's not true. Throw that, throw that in a trash can. That's not true. You don't just make your life hard. Like, John and that, I think it was that video. He was talking about, um... People think their life's gonna be easy. That's not people making their lives hard. That's people being silly, thinking that the life's being gonna be easy. You don't make bad stuff happen. You don't know what's gonna happen in your life. You don't just make something bad happen. Well, if you like cause an argument, yeah, that. But I don't cause arguments for like my dad. I don't even talk to my enemies anymore. So. They don't need to talk crap about me, but they still do anyway, even though I don't talk to them. See, I'm not doing any action. They're doing the action. You know, did I freaking cause Corona coming? No, I did not. I don't, that's why you do not believe, you do not believe anything your enemies say, because they don't tell the truth, okay? Like the minion says, I refuse to believe the lies. I refuse to believe that junk because that's a freaking lie. It, it is not true and it ain't true and it will never be true. Okay, it will never be true. You do not make your life hard. Okay, you do not make your life hard. You don't even know if you're like, you don't, you don't even expect your life being hard, okay? It's like very unexpected. It's, it really is. And just thinking that you can keep your life easy, like that's exactly what that's exactly what I heard from from my enemy, like 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 almost like three years ago she told me that because I was with John Pan and I was like talking the truth and everything about life and she's like, oh my god, you make your life hard. You think I believe that? No, I don't definitely do not believe that. Like, like you really think you can just keep your life good by yourself? This is literally what she sounds like telling me. You know, just 
I, I try to make my life good. I have people trying to make my life good. It's still hard. It's still hard stuff wrong with my life. It's not like you're gonna just keep your life good forever. You don't cause your life to get hard. It's not. People ever tell you that, like, saying that, that, oh, you make your life hard. Don't even believe that. That's not true. That is not true. I'm not gonna freaking want to make my life hard. Why? I'm not that stupid. You know, I try to rock out. I try to do stuff to keep me happy. But no. They get mad. She get mad. And then bad stuff happen. Am I the one that, 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 that actually, is, am I the person that's in her mind that says, oh, be mad. <laughs> no. My mind is not her mind, okay? Her mind's a lot different. I'm glad my mind's not my enemy's mind. Alright. Even something my dad told me, like, the car. Not a long time ago, I even believed it. Like, kind of... With the enemy destroying me. It is true, enemies can destroy you. It's... Yeah, that's why if you if you freaking do or that way, no, 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 bend your knee down, whatever one it is that I was talking about. It's, you're gonna just let the enemy destroy you, and it's not gonna be good. Even he literally warned me that was going on. Okay, because I didn't, because I don't really understand what's really going on with you know the relationship with us. You know, I don't really know how the heck we begin because. You know why I don't know how the heck? Because in the past, like the past, past, like when I became a skill effect, that wasn't. It was not like that when I start coming. Because I was downstairs, I was singing skill, I was having fun. You know, they were not mean to me. So I don't know what made that happen. Okay. Well, I don't know what made that happen. Let me see. I don't know what. The, I don't know what made that happen, but that's what I'm really worried about. What the heck made that happen? Valley of death going on with my dad now. See, I exactly said that he's going through the valley of death. Didn't I said that? Didn't I just said that? It's actually true. This is true. This is all true. I'm... See, it's like he just went straight home and she started arguing. Did... Was he the one like, oh, oh, go argue with me? No. She's not that dumb. It's not like really in her head and saying, oh, go argue. Like I said, this... I can really rock out or something. I try to make myself happy, you know? Okay, this is kind of sick and empty with I don't deserve your tears. Whatever, to be happy here, you know? So I'm like rocking out, trying to make myself happy, you know? Doing something. And then, there's always gonna be an argument over that. This, it's stupid, okay? Okay, this is freaking stupid. I live like a crazy house, you all. I live like a crazy place, okay? <laughs> you know? This is probably gonna be a skill I'm gonna be listening to for my whole life, you know? Even when I get older, I probably will still want to listen to this album. This album would be like the freaking album that helped my freaking teenagerhood. Like, literally. Victorious is one, but this album is more like, more like structure for it. And more like, it's more stronger than it is. Than it's supposed to be. Like, then my head's like, Skillet does not make songs like that. <laughs> Skillet does not predict. See, that's why I'm, like, questioning with that guy on the YouTube that was saying that their lyrics are so cringy. That is another lie. Like, Dominion actually has, like, stronger lyrics than the other albums. That's just my opinion. You all can, you all can just, okay, I do not know why I'm still listening because I like this song. And that's going on, so it makes me feel better, I guess. <laughs> And my stomach's still hurting me. I don't know if I'm gonna be eating anything. I don't really eat anything. And my stomach's killing me. But you know, this like it's like it's been crazy here. You know, this it's been crazy in this world too. It's like homeless like a crazy place in the world. You know, school is kind of crazy too. But I don't really get that many bad experiences. Like, like I think if I made like a graph of like bad experience of school, bad experience at home, because the bad experience of school. It's like, it gets caused by what's going on here, like in life, you know. And I, like, there's like, there's like the kind of stress I deal with at home. It's like, freaking like, 
What was the freaking war? No, not the what the war. <laughs> what was I gonna freaking say? You know, okay. It's like pressure, like pushing in my mind, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why is this happening? I don't know how the heck. How do you freaking end this problem? This problem is getting worse, worse. Oh, that's what enemies do. This is what I mean. They act like that the problem is over, right? All right, so they can like okay, they pretend to be like the good guy. Okay, like it's a round game. You pretend that the one that can save me. That's literally what they do. That's literally what they do. Okay, and then you realize when it get worse and there's something that happens. Like I like the warn that he gave me not a long time ago. I liked that because it was a very good warning that I. And guess what? The minion's out, so I got stuff to do. I got things to do about this problem because I don't like this problem. It's really sad, you know. Oh, if I'm like very comfortable talking to my friends about it or my friends online about it, I do it. You know, there's people online to know about that. You know. You know, cause they might ask me, why are you feeling, why are you like, why are you have, you're having a bad day? When they ask me, why are you having a bad day? Especially my mom, she asks me that too. If I'm like, tell, if I'm like, hello mom, how's your day going? And it'll be like, oh, it's been awful, it's been good at school, but it's been awful here. And she would be, she would be like, why, why is your day bad? And I don't tell her the truth. I'm not gonna be like, lying. Mine's a freaking sin. Don't ever do that for anyone. Like, <laughs> That's this was freaking messed up, <laughs> you know. You know, like you can't. He can't like shout wherever he wants to shout. He can't say like anything or weird stuff happen. Up, oh. up. Oh, I might have to stop this video very soon. I just heard what they said. Okay. Okay, you know, I hear these arguments for, like, a reason. Because always, when there are, there's always, like, something that's about me. There's always, like, something that's, like, going on, you know? There's always, you know. And I have to, like, freaking, like, catch it and do something with it, you know? Okay, I'm not going to do it you, okay? I'm not going to be like that, no. Because no. sometimes in, like, the past, I always thought, like, to, like, make me sad and cry. That's... That's this weakness. I'm like just bowing down. I'm like, it's never bowed down. It's not bowed down on the floor. Start. <laughs> oh, All right. You know, cause there was like an argument. Oh my gosh, I have to talk about this. This was the worst. Like the argument before that, that was so bad. I could. I was called a liar over like 40 freaking times. It was over 40 times. And I'm not even a liar, okay? I have no such thing as a liar. Alright. And I refuse to like believe that. I'm like, no! I'm like, no, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not this and that. I don't believe all of this stuff. I just, it's, it's, you can't just do that. You know? And guess what? It's been over like 20 times so it actually hurt me. Because it was so much. And then guess what? The other argument. Again, you're doing it again. But no, it was so bad though. It was so bad. You know. Yeah, I was dealing with this bad like emotion problem. I was I got very sad no. Yeah, I got very sad. I was crying really bad. I got mad and I was, I just was throwing stuff in my room and freaking banging on the whatever. And guess what? I literally got yelled at. I got literally got yelled at that from that. Like that doesn't even help me. Like, like, well, yeah, cause my dad was mad at. Me. He was like, "Oh, I'm getting all this stuff." Even though I know he was kidding, cause he was not really upset. At me. You know, I'm not the one that literally caused it to happen. That's why there's something that caused it to happen. He knows what it is. You know, I know what it was too. You know. I know what it was. And this album, like, this album is so freaking powerful. This album is gonna freaking help me through life, you know. This album is gonna do everything that I want it to do. Everything I want it to do, you know. So, no. Valley of Death, this song does everything, too. This song tells a story, in my opinion. 
that's why it made me cry because you know it's it's just like everything you know it's what's happening it's what everything because the bad moments my pin the bad moments is the valley of death okay that's just my opinion and it's how much time you have left for your life with that with how old you are with everything which is just with your whole life in my opinion it's just like one hard moment in your life one just one hard moment even if it's like little you're gonna be like the valley of death like literally like just you're already in it just if you get like any stressed out, if you get any stress, any anxiety, any depression, any of anything, you're sorry, you're already in it, you know. Everybody in everyone is in it. Okay. Maybe baby struggling or sleep. Maybe they're, maybe they're like, <laughs> you know. You know, maybe they can't sleep because there's something wrong going on, you know. You don't know. Cause this it's with struggles too. It's just like anything you're struggling. If you like struggle with schoolwork, you know. No, she's not helping you. The schoolwork's just trying to beat you off. You have to get it. You have to fight for your focus. You have to focus so hard. When you focus harder, you got to do better at the work, at the test, at the everything. You know, I've heard of, like, a lot of stuff that went on. You know, I've heard of, like, a lot of things, you know. I'm, like, a very hard worker. Just saying, I'm a really hard worker at school, you know. Like, in math class, I sit next to this per Okay, yeah, I sit next to this person that doesn't do anything. And literally got a freaking A-plus under his test. I was, I was shocked. This guy was like, oh, I had A-plus. I'm like, I'm like, how the heck you even had A-plus in your test doing nothing? Like, I didn't, like, believe that. I thought that was a freaking lie, okay? Okay, okay, okay. This guy's always on this phone. This guy's never doing his work. Never focus. Never. It's never. There's a lot of people in my school like that. Like, I have very annoying classes, fifth hour class, six hour class. It's just chatty. Third hour class kind of yeah, third hour. Definitely third hour. You know, third hour class is crazy, okay. Dream hours are crazy, you know. I like drawing me I like my new drawing type because it's like it's not as annoying as like the old one, but I can actually like stay focused into it, you know. But most of my classes are very alright. Okay, okay, middle school east I I think I have more like annoying classes in middle school than high school, but but I just know I have my focus level higher and I can just do good in general. If I'm if I have like focus level like less than ten, I'm not gonna do good. It's just not gonna do good. You know, like I gotta focus how to like get through this problem, how to get through everything. You know, I just gotta. Just Okay, 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 no, I don't have to do that, but I'm saying I have to do like a lot of stuff, you know, just a lot of stuff. You know, this is, this is like one reason why I was so excited for the album. What else in the surrounding game? Stay in a storm, refuge, dominion. It was touchy and like, sur especially surrounding the game, I stay in the storm. Sprushy refuge, oh my gosh, you know. And Valley of Death that's playing right now. That song as well. You know, that's why this song gave me the chills and freaking make me freaking cry. I feel like I'm gonna freaking cry right now. Like, I feel like it's like falling down me. If I cry, I'm not mad about that, you know. Like, seriously. I'm gonna have to try to hold it. Like, see, I gotta go to the bathroom. I don't wanna go back because I'm trying to talk right now. But anyways, okay, not it's not about any bad. Okay, it's not bathroom struggles. You're in the valley of death. It's not like that. It's like different. It's like struggles in like life, like to like survive or to like have a good life. If you're struggling to go by, that's not gonna struggle your good life. That's not how. Oh, this is not how it works. Okay, if you're like very very sick, like one of my Instagram friend Dina. Okay, which I hope she feels better. Shout out to that person. D Dina Myers or something, I forgot what her last name was, but she was born really sick. She said she was born sick. And she's struggling to do her thing. She's, she can't even walk. She can't do a lot of stuff. That's what the Valley of Death is, in my opinion. That's what it is. Because you could literally die from being sick like that. You could literally... You could die from, like, being stressed. My coach said it. You could die from anxiety. You could die from... 
You could probably die from being angry. You could probably die from. You definitely can die from lack of sleep. I don't think you could die from like a bathroom struggle. You could die from sickness. It's like all of this stuff that can kill you is the valley of death. Is the valley of death. Okay. Okay. Like if I was fresh out of like Scoover, I can just faint. I could just die. You don't know. You just, you, you, no, you just don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. Okay. I need to stop talking about Valley of Death because I think most of this, like, big chunk of this I've been talking about. But no, actually, I've not really been talking. I've talked about Valley of Death a lot, but no, I'm, like, connected to, like, the other songs of the album, like, Sand and Storm, you know. Destroyer. Oh, my God. Let's play that song. Because, like, like, I was so much destroyed. It's, like, like, you know, you can't let, like, your enemies destroy you or anything. And that's why, like, the warrant that I have, like, not a long time ago from him. I actually, like, thank him from that. But I did not. But I will, though. One day I will. When I'm a woman, and I'll be thinking about that, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I remember that, <laughs> you know. And if I be successful with that, then I'll thank him about that. I'll be like, you know. I have someone. I have Jesus, you know. But sometimes, you know, you feel like you don't have him, but you actually do. That's what Valley of Death says, like a like a word. Like sometimes I can't believe I am not alone. That's literally what it says. Sometimes I cannot believe I'm not alone. That happens to me a lot of times. That probably happens to all of you guys a lot. Like, like if you're like Christian or just anything, that happens. That's gonna happen to someone more than one time. It's gonna happen to someone a lot. Not sometimes, but no. I know. I know. But no. Sometimes still makes sense though. Because sometimes could be a lot of times in, like, a sometimes way, you know? It's, it's, you know, it's just true, though. Like, from time to time. I know that in French. It's kind of like French, though. I can probably say sometimes in French, like, if from time to time. I could literally say that. Yeah, we're going to play Valley Death again. I'm sorry, you all. This is... This, this, that, that downstairs is freaking unacceptable. Okay, don't, you guys gotta be careful you guys are in the couple because don't do that. John was, John is freaking smart that he even has my item. I have nothing like that. My girl is this. <laughs> that's what she is. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I just, I got a comment from her like last night, like today. I should really say today because it was like past 12 a.m. of today. She was happy I was digging it. This, um, yes, I am really digging up the album for, like, a reason. The album is helping me. That's why. And the album is gooder than, the album is gooder than I expect the album to be good. It's, you know, I'm going to actually play my favorite, Shout Your Freedom. That, the, this one is a good song. I'm gonna be stopping this really, really soon because this is like, is this? I don't think this good. I don't think I'm gonna make making like another part of this because this feels like way too. Long. It's like about like an hour long. It's like long, like the freaking skillet album, the new skillet album, you know. I'll think make like make like another version of like they did a victorious. Like you know what I'm talking about? I forgot how you say it. The Dukeless version. Something like that. I want them to make like one for this album. Because this album's awesome. There we go. <laughs> I was like headbanging with this at school. I was at lunchtime we were playing. I was getting crazy. <laughs> I was going to start getting crazy. <laughs> yep. And then, and then destroy. Oh my god. This is a funny moment. Okay. 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 I was sitting on like, the chair. I think I was eating a cake. No, I think I was eating mac and cheese or something. One of them two. Cake, mac and cheese, or chicken. When, when, when he was saying, I'm a warrior, the destroyer, and I was telling you that's so crazy. <laughs> and everybody was really like laughing. They were like, they're <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Why are we even laughing like that? You well, I do not know. But. <laughs> It was like, it was like, I'm a warrior, that's the truth. <laughs> I was crazier than that, but something like that. There's probably like lines, is like that. I love this song. Freaking catchy, man. This song freaking rocks. This song's upbeated. 
Why is there a skill elbow not a beat it? Like, why? Normally, skill elbows are not a beat it like this. No. If people ask me how the elbow is like a skill I kept on saying the same thing. There's never a skill elbow beat it like this. Like, just is never, 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 never. So I'm bringing, I give this album like a trillion thumbs up. Trillion thumbs up. Yep. And I can't wait to get my Dominion CD so I can make a picture of my Dominion's face too. <laughs> okay, that's not my Dominion. I got many Dominion faces. Yeah, because my refuge face, that's a Dominion face. Like, all the faces I made from when the, those ones came out, that's part of my Dominion faces. But anyway. There's one, there's probably one that made me cry because, because volume of depth. I'm not sure it's not such a stream because it's such a stream. Like, I really love the upbeatness of this album. It's like upbeat freaking metal, upbeat rock, upbeat metal. I don't know if that's even like a real thing, but in my opinion, that's like a music genre. Like, you can literally make a rock music so catchy and upbeat. So I call it the upbeat rock. It's just me. I think it's more as like pop rock. No, but no, I think this is more of a, as upbeat rock though. You know, I would love for Skill to play this on live and me actually see I him actually play this song live. This, exactly this song, because this song is freaking awesome, man. This song's my favorite record of album. I know Santa Storm was when it was out, but this song's like my favorite record. You know. And we got Valley of Death. That's my second favorite. Valley of Death is Definitely my second favorite of the album. And then we got, let's see what my third one is. Mm. I think White Horse is my third one, yeah. I really like White Horse. That's a, that song was, I have like listened to that like, like a lot to really get used to it. But I really think White Horse is actually my third favorite. I'm not lying though. That's a very good one. White Horse has the rapping in it. And John figure raps good, man. John sings, John talks, John raps good. <laughs> John has a good sense of humor. <laughs> John knows how to explain stuff. John knows how to do anything. I'm not lying, though. I'm serious. Like, I'm serious. Deeper ways. No way. Think they they hold me, but they don't know. Since I'm my own, you're on top of the world. I love when they. I just, I just love the lyrics of this song. I love the way I just like the melody of this thing. to me like it's freaking great. Da 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 da. Something you love. Show your freedom. I love this. Oh yeah. Shot your freedom, baby. Hi. This is how you like party with some skillet. Come on. We're gonna start partying with some Dominion here. Hold on. Let's put this.
That is an awesome song. That is my favorite of the album. Like, and I love this part. It does this and then it starts get freaking up. It's like, <laughs> it's so awesome, man. This is freaking awesome. So it's like gonna be it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be dirt 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 dirt. <laughs> yep. You are a prisoner. You know you're a minister. The way is the way you are. Top of the world, I lost my shot. Your freedom, victory is what has come alive inside with a big joy. Shout it out to the world, to love and love. Shout your freedom. I love this song, man. <laughs> I love this album in general. Let's see, what's another up beating song? A night, yes. No, Destiny. Well, that's actually it. This, that sounds like metal song up beating. I love this song. Chase the light, with the line. Chase the light, to break a painful memory. The darkness ain't my destiny. See, that part. And it's in my destiny! <laughs> See, it's like freaking upbeated rock with metal. Upbeat and metal. I love this song, man. And it has a lot of gems singing it in the gut. So awesome. You hear the, you hear the plain old ledger singing it? She's been amazing in this song. She also sings amazing in Forever All The End. This is the other song I have to start learning the lyrics of. This song is freaking good, y'all. Destiny, no, the destiny, no, the destiny. Here we go. You get the awesomeness. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. You get crazy. My destiny. I love this vlog. This is my fourth favorite. Fourth favorite. What is my fifth favorite? Oh, I'm gonna see. Forever or the end of my fifth favorite. Yep, this is how I gave it. Shout your freedom. Um, Valley of Death. Who's her favorite again? Wait, I don't know what I think I that one. Oh yeah, White Horse. Wait, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Um, Shout Your Freedom. Valley of Death, White Horse. Destiny and Forever Olden. That's my top five favorite songs of this album. And guess what? It's not even so deep. It's like one of my favorite. Well, maybe this one's my sixth favorite. But, that's that again. I love all the songs. <laughs> but Dave, I listen to Freedom. That that literally said, no, that's probably gonna be my favorite one. I'm just looking to make sure that anyone texts me. You know. 
Dang. A lot of views for a Twitter. But you all, this was amazing album. Okay, let's turn on my phone for a while. First, I thought the song was like real weird, but I really love the song. So, I need to learn this. This is like maybe the last one I learned though, because I was like rapping in it and I, you know, I'm not that good. But when I know the song's gonna have rap, it's gonna take like the longest. It's like stainless steel. It has like a little bit of like rapping in it. And guess what? That guy got oh, white horse is so bad. <laughs> it made me put the elbow down. White Horse is not bad. It's good. It's awesome. Awesome! But that's really it for my movie. But I better see y'all later. <laughs> See you all later. Ooh, look at that light blow on my face. <laughs>